I'm Bill from Iron Will, and I want to talk to you about drag, lift, restoring torque, and vein height. When an arrow's in flight, the force that's directly in line with the wind direction is called drag. When an arrow is at some angle to that airflow, there are perpendicular forces called lift. Now these aren't necessarily up or down, but just in an angle that's perpendicular to the angle of flow. If the front of the arrow is tipped up, there's a lift force as the air flows across the broadhead, there's a lift force up that's gonna to wanna to drive it off course. At the back of the vein, that airflow across it will create also create a lift. It's gonna try and restore that, put it back on course. This force times distance is a torque. It's what I call restoring torque. What you wanna have is when you sum the moments about this point or the torques about the center of mass, you want the veins to, to win that battle and have a positive restoring torque and a high restoring torque that brings it back on track quickly. I sponsor a project at the University of Colorado to study aeroflight with broadheads on the front. We looked at vein height in a fluid dynamic model to see what effects it had on drag as well as restoring torque. Often target archers will choose a vein that has a lower height and longer profile to reduce drag. And you can reduce drag somewhat by reducing that front profile or the height of the vein. What we saw in the fluid dynamic modeling is by having the vein height reduced from 0.58 to 0.53, you could reduce drag by 2.5%, but it reduced the restoring torque by 11%. So you're much better off when you're hunting with broadheads on the front to have a taller vein to keep that high restoring torque to quickly bring your arrow back on target for the best accuracy with broadheads. We also found from the study that a vein with this profile with more area high and back performs better than a longer vein with more of a parabolic shape to it. If we have a vein of equal surface area but it has a more of a parabolic shape that's longer and 0.5 inches high versus the hybrid hunter shape that is 0.58 inches high, the hybrid hunter has 23.5% greater restoring torque than that parabolic shape. Resulting from this study, I recommend a vein that's 0.55 to 0.58 inches tall to give you the best accuracy with fixed plate broadheads. If you want to read the complete reports on vein height, restoring torque, and drag, check out our website. We'll be posting those there soon.